Hello, we are here with Mill Creek Family Farms AKC Champion Line Cockapoos. And this guy is Bruno, and he is was a is eight weeks old today and is headed here. Oh, I'm a little low for you, buddy. Um, he is headed home this weekend to his family in Illinois. Um, I've got it zoomed in a little much, I guess, because I'm gonna try and show you how to trim puppy nails so all right shall we get started Bruno oh now you lay down okay okay um let me see how I can do this I'm gonna try and show you up close I've already done that but let me try and show you up close um I'm gonna show you a buff puppy to a light colored puppy as well this is on a dark color puppy. You can see when his toes are black, his nails are black there. So they're a little hard to see where the quick is. And that intimidates a lot of people. And that is understandable. But learning how to do this, you can save. Most vets are between $8 and $15 on a, uh, on a trim. So you can save money pretty quick if you can figure out how to do this. These are the puppy trimmers that we recommend. They're small, the scissor action is easy to use, um, and is more natural to a lot of people than, than the way the adult clip trimmers that we recommend are set up. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, I will show on a buff puppy as well, and it's easy to see the quick. This is not, you can't see where the blood flows in there, but what we're looking to do is just take off the end so that those sharp puppy nails aren't um, aren't catching on everything and, and scratching us up. So, um, what? just a second, hold on to him. I'll, I'll do him in just a second. Can I set him down? Yeah, you can set him down. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm just gonna come back about, oh, your brother just walked in, huh? Pick him up and back him up. Cause he wants to get down and play now. Oh, there we go. Don't mind our chaos here. We haven't mentioned these puppies are very used to children. <laughs> They're running all around here. So, okay. So let me find that nail on the screen again. Um, you're just gonna go one by one through their fingernails and uh, move the hair back. And um, so I can show you. Then I'm just going to go about this far in, and I'm just going to trim the tip off. No big deal. No blood. Nothing to be scared of. Now I do recommend that um, you have some styptic powder, which we have in our, uh, in our store as well. Um, just in case you do get too close, it's not a big deal. It's just like trimming your own fingernails too short. It will grow out. Um, but that just helps stop the blood right away. Um, what I do want to show you, we do not remove dew claws on our, on our cockapoo puppies. So far they've only had them on the front feet and they are attached, you can feel. And I want to say the, that, um, dew claw is attached to, I want to say like five different muscles. And, um, I will post a link here. You trim it just like the others. Just come right in there and clip it. No big deal. Um, the uh, the um, dew claw is attached to like five different muscles, and there have been some studies on taking dew claws off and the relationship with arthritis in dogs because those those muscles, with never being used, if you take the dew claw off, is uh, causing those muscles to just kind of atrophy and and kind of just degrade inside their body. Um, now it might be a different case for for totally loose dew claws on the back feet, but those dew claws on the front feet are a, are a big use to dogs. They use it every time they run. If you can put it in slow motion, those dew claws actually come into contact with the ground, and uh, and it keeps their leg from from torquing, from twisting. And so you can imagine a lifetime without dew claws of every time they run and every time those front feet hit the ground that their leg is twisting in a way it was not meant to twist. It really adds in several different ways to arthritis over the span of their lifetime. So we do not remove their dew claws 
on purpose, not just because we're lazy, although some breeders accuse of that. Um, it's something that we have researched. We've decided, you know, God put them there for a reason. It's not a mistake. It's on every puppy, and we leave them as they are. If it's something that really, really bothers you, you can have them removed later. Um, and if there's an injury, that can be dealt with at the time. But, you know, it's like saying we're going to lob off all the puppy's ears just in case they ever get an ear infection. You know, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. To say we remove, remove dew claws to prevent injury, well, in our mind, um, dew, claw, dew claw injuries, especially if you leave them trimmed, are not common. And um, if you keep them trimmed like that, the, the incidence of it is rare. And so instead of preventing a rare occurrence by doing a small surgery to every dog, we figure, well, you can just, just deal with that if it comes. And uh, so that's a little blurb about dew claws. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to show you on Kevin here what the nail looks like on a buff puppy. Here's Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Kevin is also going to Illinois. And he, they are super sweet boys. Okay, Kevin. They're due for a bath after this. So, um,. I'm just going to get an up close here to try and show you how Kevin's uh, toenails are different. If I can get the camera to focus on it right. Um, you can, yeah, can you get him out from under there? Go around the other side. He's just, oh, he's following you. Ah, there you go. Okay, so Kevin's toenails, you can actually see where the blood stops in his toenail and you can tell exactly where you need to clip off so what you do to trim a buff puppy or any light color puppy or you know what our puppies uh, Rebecca had some puppies that had um, back up just a little bit but I don't you bump the camera um, had some puppies that had a uh, were black but had white toes well on those white toes the toenails were white so let me see I ho I'm hoping it's showing up in there um, I'm going to take just right there, and I'm going to go back to where the blood runs right there, and I'm just going to clip off. Just leaving, like you would on your own fingernails, a little bit of white space before you get back to the quick. So that's all there is to it. There's another nail right there, and I'm just going to come in, and I'm going to stay in front of where the quick is, and I'm just going to clip. And that's all there is to it. And there's no blood coming out and there's no issue. If there was, you would use that styptic powder and you would just pack it on there real quick, dip it down in there, and it would quit real quick. It happens. I, I worked with a vet for years and years and years and I'm telling you, even when your vet takes your puppy in the back room and trims his toenails, it bleeds at the vet sometimes. Everybody does it. Um, and it is not a big deal. Um, and again, you can see on Kevin here, Right up here, you want to follow up the leg, and you want to make sure, make sure that you come up the leg and trim those dew claws. These puppies only have it on their front paws, as have all of our puppies so far. But like I said earlier, you want to make sure you trim those dew claws. If you're not trimming them, if they're long and they're dangly, and you're not trimming the nail, it's going to make it more likely, number one, to get caught on something. And then you do have a dew claw injury. Um, or number two, for the um, the nail to curl around as it gets too long and poke back into the pad and make them uncomfortable. But that dew claw there is just the uh, if you can think about it like like the puppy uh, the puppy's paw being a hand. He's got his four fingers, and then see if I can kind of show you what I mean here. This is really hard to finagle a puppy in the, in the video camera. So if you can think about this puppy's paw like a hand, he's got his four fingers, and then right here he's got his thumb. It's, that's exactly what the dew claw acts as, like your four fingers and then a little ways up your thumb. That's exactly what you're looking at when you're looking at a puppy's dew claw. You need to make sure, and you trim that every time you trim the other nails. And sometimes a little more often because they're in contact with the ground less they don't wear down near as much. So that is my quick little video on how to trim 
how to trim puppy nails. It's the same when they're little as when they get older. And boy, I don't have it quite high enough for you. Um, so there we go. Mill Creek Family Farms AKC Champion Line Cockapoos and how to trim toenails with a special special extra little edition of our of our Duclaw spiel that I just threw in there. So there we go. These puppies were excited for them to meet their families this weekend. So, all right, there, I'll leave you with that tail wagon. You can visit us at www.millcreekfamilyfarms.com. We have a portion of our website that is now a store. The items don't come from us, but it is all in one place where to get the things that we recommend and that we use. And those trimmers, as well as the trimmers that we use on the mamas and daddies, are all available there. So, 